After a shaky start, Cody Vaz and the Beaver offense put together one of its most complete games this season. With Storm Woods out with a knee injury, Teron Ward stepped up with a career-high 146 yards rushing. And then outside, Marcus Wheaton and Brandon Cooks each had more than 100 yards receiving. The third time this season, they both have crossed the century mark in the same game. We made big plays, which against a team like that that blitzes and has as good of players as they have up front, then it was like, okay, we're going to take our shots, and it's going to be a little bit of feast or famine both ways. You know, they really got after us tonight, but at the same time, you know, when we needed it, we had guys on the offensive line stepped up, guys on the perimeter stepped up, made some big plays for us. Man, this was a huge game for us. I think um, coming after that loss, we had to, uh, you know, prove to ourselves again that we are a great team. You know, we deserve to be where we are. You know, we have to show everybody in the country that, you know, we took that loss last week, but, you know, we're not the team that is going to lay down. We're going to come back and punch somebody in the mouth. After the game, Mike Riley admitted that he did something Friday night that he doesn't normally do. He brought up the team's 6-1 and one record coming in, trying to reinstill confidence in his players. Well, it worked as the Beavers won what they called a must-win game. And now they head to Palo Alto to face Stanford in a pivotal Pac-12 North battle. At Research Stadium, I'm Phil Milani, KVAL Sports.